Wild Bill on Species Extinction, and the Dire Wolf. Species Extinctions. Everyone has a personal axe to grind, but as far as I know, there is only one evidence-rich, absolutely proven beyond a shadow of a doubt method of species extinction. Man. Postulate meteorite strikes, nuclear winters, solar minimum maxima events, and Mars attacks. Kek, 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 all you like. But man wipes out species like nothing else. Passenger pigeons, mammoths and mastodons, Hast's eagle and its possible moa prey, dodos, honest politicians, and probably direwolves as well. The list goes on and on. If it's yummy, or competes with us in any way, or simply spoils the view, we'll wipe it out. Size and strength avail you little against rock falls, punji stick line pits, planned brush fires, at lattle wielded by determined killers, and the certainty of improvisation man brings to every table in existence. Certain species do, however, thrive under man's hegemony over the rest of the animal kingdom. Coyotes, rats, mice, malarial mosquitoes, tsetse flies, cockroaches, city squab, also known as roof rats, water bugs, silverfish, earwigs, and killer bees all enjoy a permanence not to be predicted, only marveled at, considering the human species' capacity and demonstrated desire for destruction. Even so, some locations protect and empower species of sharks, dolphins, whales, squirrels, rabbits, owls, hawks, and sadly pigeons too, ensuring they're a chance to squeak by in man's shadow. Just for the record, I'd trade killer bees for a few moas in a heartbeat. Imagine the omelets we could make. And a point about DNA. With an assumed 50,000 year shelf life, and perhaps a bit more when preserved under ideal conditions, it's quite possible that viable DNA might be derived from certain existing fossils and cryomummies. If so, dire wolves might make a comeback, a la Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park novel and the subsequent film. In fact, neogenic quaternary fauna clonings are a lot more possible than any dinosaurs or their contemporary archosaurs, marine reptiles, and the like. We likely won't see dinosaurs anytime soon. But we may be seeing Baluchotherium, which were rhinos 20 feet high at the shoulder, Megatherium, which were giant ground sloths, Smilodon ferox, saber-toothed tiger, and Ankylosaur-like glyptodonts before long. Just saying.